Hello everybody, this is the Carbine Cowboy coming to you today from a very nice but a little breezy Montana afternoon. Hey, I told you I'd be doing a little more shooting videos. I'm sorry about the wind if that's causing a little trouble. But it is about 40 degrees out here today. So we thought we'd come out and try to do a shooting video. What I have for you today, this is a Savage Model 6 22 long rifle that was purchased by my grandfather, brand new in 1938. Uh, if memory serves, I think he said he paid about a whole whopping twelve dollars for it. That was quite a bit of money back in 1938. Still shoots. Uh, with the modern 22 shells though, it does kind of hang up a little bit once in a while, so I have to use the old lead uh, 22 shells in it to get it to function. But other than that, not a bad investment for twelve dollars back in 1938. He had it kept it forever. My dad used it, about tried to wear it out. I got it when I was about nine. I tried my best to wear it out and it's still here. So other than that, we're going to do a little bit of shooting today, me and Montana Mountain Man. We just thought we'd come out, get out of the house for a while and do a little plinking with a 22. But other than that, why don't you sit back and enjoy. We'll do a little bit of shooting for you. that's really interesting about this old Savage Model 6 is it is an auto loader and a bolt action. When you open the bolt and close it, the gun will fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. You push the knob in, you fire the round, you pull it out, you have to cycle it as a bolt action. I called this thing the old clickety clack. They were made from about I want to remember 1937 all the way up until the early 1960s. A lot of different places made them. Uh, Savage made them. Uh, I'm trying to remember, there was about four or five different outfits that made them. Ranger made them. Montgomery Ward sold them. Sears and Roebuck sold them. Uh, they were quite an interesting 22. The thing that's really nice about this one is it'll shoot short, longs, and long rifles. This thing will hold 16 22 long rifle, but it's got a 26 inch barrel. So it is kind of fairly heavy for no more than what it is. But you know, the thing that I really like about this thing is even though it's old, and even though my granddad had it forever, even though there's really no collector's value to it, it's still a piece of history that's been passed down for three generations, possibly going to be four. So, you know, I encourage people that uh, want to go out and do a little bit of plinking, take some of these old guns with you. They're actually really a lot of fun. And uh, a 22 long rifle, like I said, 1938. This thing is crowding, well, what, 90 years old? So I think he got his $12 out of it. <laughs> but other than that, we'll do a little bit more plinking for you, and I hope you really enjoy it. This rifle since I was six years old. My grandpa bought it for me for about a hundred dollars. 22s aren't cheap anymore. You're probably looking at least a bare minimum about 200 for a plain Jane base model. All the way up to now I see them for about 400. So let's see how this thing can do. Not bad for a hundred dollar rifle 
that I've had since I was six. Don't plan on ever getting rid of it. Probably gonna pass it down to my kids someday. So from the Montana Mountain Men and the Carbine Cowboy, have a wonderful afternoon from the great state of Montana.